Listen, if you're going to spend $700 to learn that, I can't help you. All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real, the place where I try to replicate the claims of the supernatural with my very natural skills. If you're new to the channel, well, you're going to be very disappointed because uh, this channel is kind of like on a, let's call it a creative break. Um, as some of you might know, the one that are already subscribed and the one that are following, I have kind of put this channel on, on hold because I'm not, I'm not getting to the number that I wanted to be at this point and just to be clear um this isn't about money i'm not concerned about money like no i know that there's no way i can survive just with this channel but at the same time numbers and and statistic you know it, it, they're just important okay so i decided to put this channel on hold and focus more on what i like to do which is performing magic and i've, I've been doing that a lot i've been performing way more since i stopped this channel and that makes me really happy and uh I honestly don't know if I'm going to come back to this channel as much as I like the idea of this channel, as much as I like the purpose of this channel, as much as I like where I was going with this channel, which is, you know, ultimately investigating the claims of the supernatural. Here's what this video is going to be about. I can replicate, you know, the claims of the supernatural with my magician skill as much as I want, but I understand that that is never going to be definite proof that a supernatural doesn't exist. So while I was trying to figure out how to make this channel better, how to, you know, how to, how to investigate better, I realized that I should be able to somehow get budget to travel to this location and meet with these people and truly challenge them. And when I say challenge, like, I know it sounds, challenge sounds so aggressive, but it's, let's, okay, let's change it. Let's call it testing and truly testing if there is something, even a little bit or something that could be considered, you know, an ability, like a real ability, not a magic trick. And in order to do that, I'm going to need budget and I'm going to have to figure out a way to get this budget somehow because at the moment I don't have it, but it would be incredible if I could go and do this. At the same time, I should also, and this is for me, not for you, but I'm just talking out loud. I should also try to focus on really understanding the evil YouTube algorithm so that I can maybe market this channel a little better. I should really try to figure it out what it is that YouTube wants from its creators, which I feel like at this moment, even the biggest creators, like I've been, I've been noticing a lot of videos, even from like large you know, YouTubers that have millions of subscribers have been noticing that they're burned out and they don't know what they need to do. So I understand that this is also a, a tough thing. And uh, as I said, um, I've been enjoying real life so much. Sorry, this thing is, is bugging me. Why Why is one up and the other one? What's going on here? Either, either both stay up or both go down. 2000 years later i've been enjoying the real life outside youtube this like this past couple of months so much and i've been organizing so many live shows that i don't even know what it is that i'm doing right here yes okay here it is here's the here's the topic of this video here's why i decided to turn on the camera and the lights again because i got a couple of comments recently uh defending ernest Vider. if you guys don't know where ernest Vider is i've made like two or three videos about him. Uh, he claims all sorts of stuff like pyrokinesis, telekinesis, uh, uh, hypnosis, like all sorts of things. And, and, and to teach you the skills, he charges you quite a large amount of money. I mean, I think that the cheapest thing that he has on his website is like, he teaches you hypnosis for like $160. I don't know what, it's probably not what I think of hypnosis. It's probably his own version of hypnosis. But anyway, it shows you this kind of really, you know, badly shot videos where he demonstrates his telekinesis and then he wants to charge you $700 to learn it. He even shows you like levitation and he charges like, I don't know, something like a thousand, a thousand four hundred dollars to, to teach you levitation. And just to be clear, he's talking about real levitation, not, not a, not a David Copperfield levitation. Like he's talking about actual real levitation. And this is when I realized something. This is, this is when I, I realized that maybe, you know, even if I get budget, to produce 
bigger and larger videos. Even if I start understanding how the evil YouTube algorithm works, I just realize that maybe there's actually not, maybe there's no hope for this project. And, and, and hear me out. And the reason being is this. If you look at this, if you look at this video from like Ernest Vider, and this, this video, and he's, the other video he posts, these are, for you, these are evidence. This is, this is good evidence that, that this skill is, is real. And, and you look at this video and you go like, okay, I'm going to pay $700 to learn this. Well, in that case, I can't help you. There's like, I, I, I realized this. I can't believe I didn't see this before. But like, I can't help you. Like, there's nothing I can do for you. It's, you're too far. You're too, too, it's, you're too, 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 too far gone. There's nothing, there's nothing I can do for you. If you have already committed that, that this is convincing enough. If, you, if you're looking at his levitation videos, which they all look like they've been filmed with a potato, which they all look like the, the quality is so, it's so low, it's impossible to tell whether or not there's a string or something that is holding on this guy. If, you're, if you've seen this live stream of this student of his demonstrating levitation and you didn't notice that the way he moves the stick around, it's highly suspicious. And just to be clear, just to be clear, I, I don't know how he's levitating in this video. I'm not sure. I have a, a hypothesis and I don't want to tell you my hypothesis. But I have a few hypotheses and I, and, I, and I have knowledge on how a magician can do this. But what I can tell you, what I can tell you is that it's incredibly suspicious that this is a live stream. But somehow we don't get to see the whole live stream. We only see four separate videos that stop abruptly every single one of them. In all four videos, every time he grabs that stick... He does the same exact movements as if like he rehearsed how to move that stick. He's also highly suspicious that the stick never goes on this side or that side. Anyway, there's one side where he never brings the stick around. And also, we never get to see him going up or down. You probably are seeing, yes, but we get to see this in other videos. Yeah, sure, of course, in videos like this one. Is this, is this good enough? Is this good enough for you? Cause, cause I, I cannot see anything. All I see is pixels. It's a blur. Sure, I see some, something, but like if the thing, it doesn't matter. The thing is that if this is convincing enough, if you are seeing this and you're willing to pay a thousand four hundred dollar because you think this is a real skill that he can teach you, I can't help you. Nothing I'm gonna do or say will convince you otherwise. You know, he's posting videos where he says, look, I can levitate a piece of thing under, under a cup. Sure, I've done it a million times. And I can do it a million times more. It still won't convince you if you are already committed to pay such a large amount because you believe them according to these videos. And I know that there's a lot of you that are saying that like, oh, but like the things that he teaches you in private, those are the real deal. The things that he can do, like what you see on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. I heard this a million times. But the thing is that, see, for me to investigate that, because he's not, he's not going to show me the stuff for free. Like even this guy, he keeps on repeating that if you want to see him actually take off, you're going to have to pay. And that's the thing. I can't afford it. If I really wanted to investigate, I need budget. I need budget to, I guess, pay him. I don't want to. But that will be, since you guys keep repeating that what I see on YouTube is only the tip of the iceberg. It's much more amazing what they can do uh, in, in real life. I'm like, sure, whatever. The, 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 only, the only thing I can think of, and, and I'm going to just kind of end with that, is that maybe, maybe challenging these skills as in testing them. So maybe approaching the skills in a way that I'm saying like, oh, you have to prove to me that it's real. This is not working. This hasn't been working for any, I'm not the first one to try to, I'm not the first magician or the first skeptic to try to do this. So maybe, maybe I can take a different approach. And again, I'm just, this video is a bit of a rant. It's unscripted. I'm just spitballing. I'm basically thinking out loud and I'm just going to drop it out there. But like, I thought of this. All right. What if instead of keep on asking you to prove to me that these abilities are real, 
What if we just skip that step and I just go, you know what? Okay, they are real. They're, they're, they're definitely real abilities. I would like, according to what I've seen, I would like now to challenge your abilities, like your real abilities, versus my fake abilities. Let me explain. I'm not challenging you to prove that it's real. I'm, I'm telling you, I believe you. Your abilities are real. What I'm doing now is that I want to put your abilities to the test. Let me give you an example. You could buy a $700, $700 telekinesis course from Ernest Veter. And hold on. I don't know how many years it takes to learn real telekinesis. All I know is that he's going to teach you just telekinesis. And then eventually, maybe you'll be able to start moving a piece of foil. Maybe. Because he also says that it, it's different from, you know, from people to people, from person to person. And he doesn't guarantee that this is even going to happen. Or you can buy a magic kit from Illusionist, for example, for $160. Now, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, I don't know what's in, that, in the magic kit from Illusionist, but I know the people from Illusionist. Okay, And I can guarantee you that whatever is in the kit, is, it's, it's, first of all, multiple effects that you can learn fairly quickly probably and also multiple effect that if you like perfect if you if you train with them and perfect you probably no joke will be able to make that money back i'm pretty sure you'll be able to make that 160 dollars back you can you can do a birthday party multiple birthday parties maybe if you're really good you can land a corporate gig maybe you can go to an open mic night and get some tips but I can guarantee you that if you buy that kit from Illusionist, you will get the money back. But I, but I hear you. you. I hear you. You probably say this isn't. You're so. You're such a, a materialistic person. So like, this isn't about money. This is about uh, self mastery or like get you know improve yourself. I hear you. Let's just. I, I would love to do this. I would love to accept that all of your abilities of all the people that I've talked about on this channel are real, and I would love to challenge all of them. So what I'm talking about is this. Forget money stuff, okay? Forget the stuff that with this, uh, with this real abilities that I believe that they are real. Forget the stuff that you cannot make any money out of it. So you will spend years of your life practicing a thing that, that's not going to give you any reward back. But that's fine. That's fine. It's not about money. But you know what it could be about? Your health. So like, for example, someone like Grandmaster Wolf claims he can heal people, claims he can heal himself through meditation. So I'm like, cool. Let's put it to the test. I believe you. I believe you, Grandmaster Wolf. Let's put it to the test. Me and one of your students, the same age as me. Let's go to a doctor and let's, and, and let's do analysis. Blood analysis, pressure. Let's see which one of us is healthier. I don't do any of the meditation your student does. Or you claim you can heal people. Great. Let's see how many people have you healed in a year time versus an actual doctor. I mean, if disabilities are real, let's put them to the test. Let's see what we can do with it. Master Centaurus, you're a martial artist, right? You, you teach, you teach in your martial arts school, you teach self-defense. Great. Let's put your self-defense skills to the test. Let's see how your magical electric power, it's useful in a self-defense situation. In the next self-defense championship, ask if you can compete. Let's, let's put all this to the test. Let's go. Let's see if you, it, you know, as, as a mentalist, sometimes I can do some sort of like psychological uh, trick that looks like mind reading, looks like telepathy, but you're actually claiming that you can do telepathy. Great. Let's do it. Let's, 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 let's come up with a series of competition. Let's just see. Because at this point, all I've seen is people moving pieces of foil or claiming the most outrageous thing without showing anything. So uh, fine. I believe you, but I also believe in my skills so i just want to go head to head let's do it let's do it let's go head to head fake versus real let's see who does better and sure some of you are gonna say that this is that, uh, that this is stupid that this is not why you should learn those abilities that it's not about this at all but then i'm like then 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 what is it about then what is it about because i'm sure that all of you, all, all, of, all of the people I've talked on this channel, you all post videos online, which means you all have data plan that you have to pay money for it. You all eat, you all go to the bathroom, you all sleep, you all are getting old. 
and aging. No matter how much Bruce Lipton says, you can avoid that. He's getting as old as like anybody else. So what is this about? What, what, is, what is the actual utility of learning the self-mastery? Let's do it. I, I believe your skills. Let's put it to the test. Let's do it. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Sorry about this video. It was very, it was very ranty, but it's something that I, I needed it to come on. I needed to say something. I'm probably not even going to edit much of this video. I'm just going to leave it like the way it is. I know it's a very long rant. I don't care. Uh, but if you're still here, I, I shall thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, there's a few people that are um, on my Patreon still. And I, I, I thank you so much because I, I haven't posted any new content on the Patreon for a while. So you know what? For those people that are still on my Patreon, I'm going to show you the tutorial for this uh, trick that I recently posted. It's, it's very simple and you're going to learn it like in no time. It's going to be like incredible. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to post another video for this channel or what else I'm going to do. As I said, I'm really trying to work out how to make this content better. But at the same time, thank you so much uh, for being here. And uh, if you are still here and you're still watching, I need you to prove it to me by simply answering the question, am I wearing the curtains? Like, am I wearing the, the, the curtains that I have on the back? Like, what is this? Why? What is this jacket? Just just answer the question. Do you think it's made of the curtains that are on my back? Um, that's dumb. Well... Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.